Now welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't and give this video a like. You can also press the notification bell down below so that every time I upload a video on this channel, YouTube will automatically update you by sending you the notifications. Otherwise, to my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers and supporters, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. I really don't take your entire support for granted. In this video, I just want to try as much as possible to be very much brief enough. Having said that, now let us go straight into our critical analysis for today. And yesterday, the Jubilee Party official secretary, General Kanini Kega himself, was addressing some residents in Bahati constituency. And I want you to know that Kanini Kega has not been in good terms with the former head of state, Uhuru Mugi Kenyatta, recently, due to the leadership tussles that has been going on in the Jubilee Party for a very long period of time that led to Uhuru Kenyatta being officially kicked out as the Jubilee Party leader. Currently, as you speak, Uhuru Kenyatta does not have a political party. And also, due to Uhuru Kenyatta's consistently supporting Raila Odinga, that is the beginning of the bitter fallout and the, the divisions within the Jubilee Party because there were those leaders who were supporting Raila Odinga and other leaders who say that simply because Raila Odinga has, uh, did not manage to get to the presidency, we have to change our tunes and support the current ruling government. So it is being led by Kanini Kega and uh, Sabina Chege as the party leader. I want you also to know that it's only it's not only Kanini Kega that has been attacking Uhuru Kenyatta for being involved in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance demonstrations that has been conducted and being planned to be conducted in some parts of the country. Let me just read for you and show you on the screen this statement uh, by the CS for Roads. Kipchumba Murkomen himself say that I want to urge the former president Uhuru Kenyatta just like Moses told Pharaoh to let the Israelites go, let Raila Odinga go and leave him alone. Let Raila to make personal decisions and we will deal with him as an individual. He proceeds to say that I want to tell Raila Odinga that it is not too late to change and embrace the peace. You can still change your mind and believe in a united country. It is very unusual for an 80-year-old to lead demonstrations. So basically, they are, the reason as to why they are attacking Uhuru Kenyatta on this issue is that Uhuru Kenyatta has been caught red-handed funding railroading as demonstration simply because of his revenge mission and his bitterness. But according to yesterday's uh, event led by Kanini Kega at Bahati constituency, I was able to uh, Kanini Kega was able to outline some various key issues that I find it very important. First of all, Kanini Kega went ahead to expose the former head of state Uhuru Kenyatta for conducting or uh, chairing a meeting, a secret meeting together with the Azimilo Moja Alliance leaders on several occasions. And he's actually accusing Uhuru Kenyatta that even the issue or the idea being proposed of collecting a total of 15 million signatures to host or to impeach President William Ruto was actually an idea of the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta. So those are the kind of issues that are currently emerging and the, the, the issues that still will emerge in this country that Uhuru Kenyatta, the former head of state, instead of going for his retirement, is currently associating himself behind the scene to Raila Odinga's demonstrations in some parts of the country because he wants to humil he wants to frustrate President William Ruto's government. And that is why Kanini Kega fearlessly told Uhuru Kenyatta directly that he should and he must keep off President William Ruto's regime. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, Kanini Kega accused Uhuru Kenyatta for throwing out his weight behind protest demonstrations that are currently being organized by Rodinga. And he was challenging Uhuru Kenyatta and Rodinga that the current 
demonstrations that are being conducted will not actually uh, yield any, any 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 issues that are they're currently demanding. It's not the, the the demonstrations cannot actually repeal the finance act. It cannot lower the high cost of living. So therefore, they should stop the demonstrations rallies across the country for their own personal interest, not the, the, the interest of the ordinary Wananchi. And the messages or the statement that was being offered by Kanidi Kega was actually received very well by the leaders from and the residents from that region because they understand the current mission of Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga in frustrating President William Bruto Sergi. And finally, Kanini Kega was urging the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta, to at least support President William Ruto for once. He was challenging Uhuru Kenyatta to do that because William Ruto has stood or stood with reloading with Uhuru Kenyatta for 10 good years as the principal assistant when he was actually the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Also in 2002, Uru Kenyatta, when he was contesting for the presidential bid, President William Ruto was actually on the forefront campaigning, supporting Uhuru Kenyatta up to the last minute. So he's been, he has been so loyal to the former head of state, uh, Uhuru Mugi Kenyatta. So that is why Kanini Kega is challenging Uhuru Kenyatta that at least for once, just support uh, William Ruto because he has supported you for the longest period of time. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my analysis for today. I'm not feeling very well, just having some, uh, quite some headaches, but I hope that that will be okay. But what can you say about the whole these issues of the demonstrations? Because I'm seeing that the guns are being directly pointed to Uru Kenyatta for funding and being involved in the demonstration rallies. Do you blame it on Uhuru Kenyatta or Raila Molodika? That is the first question. And that is why it is it to be the digital strategist of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance actually launched a, a, a site for inviting all Kenyans to actually append their signatures to punish Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga and Kanozo Msioka by denying them uh, some pension and have just done a critical analysis on that. So should Uhuru Kenyatta be punished for reloading us mistake? Because according to the, the, the sources is that reloading is trying to give up this demonstration and the street protest. But the people who are behind his weight and who are forcing him to go still to these demonstrations are people who are funding reloading because of their own personal interest for revenge, for their bitterness because of their humiliation. So should Uhuru Kenyatta be punished for reloading us terrible mistakes committing during the demonstration rallies? And if Uhuru Kenyatta is not behind reloading us demonstration rallies, the question that you should ask yourself is this. Why is it that Uhuru Kenyatta has not come out clean to stop reloading from all these demonstrations or to call off because he is currently the Azmiu No Moja Alliance chairman so that ex simply explains to you that the accusations that Uhuru Kenyatta is currently facing are actually correct. They are actually factual. So it's just a matter of time that people should be exposed. But in my considered opinion, if at all the demonstrations must be conducted because the constitution approves the right for people to demonstrate. And today you never know. Today it will be on your side, you are saying that you don't want this demonstration, but what about tomorrow? You never know about tomorrow, maybe you will be the one on the streets demonstrating. So the demonstrations must happen and it should be very much peaceful. Destruction of properties and uh, uh, touching other, you know, these massive killings, brutal killings and any other issues should not be uh, accepted at all. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I really don't take your entire support for granted. Please don't forget 
to subscribe to my channel. But until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.